my name is Alex Ross. I'm originally from Modesto, California, though right now I'm uh, living down in Salisbury, Maryland, because I'm stationed in Wallops Island. I'm, I'm in the Navy. What drove you to cosplay with Fallout 4? I'm not entirely sure. This is only like the second outfit I've ever put together. It was had to have been sometime right after Fallout 4 came out that somehow I got an idea of being a, like some kind of NPC. I'm not a specific character, but I thought, you know, just make an outfit that looks like it fits in the universe and that'll be just fine. It'll give me a little more creative flexibility and that's what I did. So, uh, where did you get all your parts and pieces from? It's a lot of eBay junk or just stuff that I found or things that I kind of half made myself. Uh, like everything that you see on me, if it looks like real wood or metal, it is. This is even a real turtle shell. I got it, from, again, online from eBay from a guy in Florida. His family eats them. Well, that's a little gross. <laughs> so, um, can we see the back of your... Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's... That's the funny thing about trying to pose for this. So much at every different angle. Yeah. But uh, anytime I post people, it's usually just this side, just since uh, the soda's going there, but I try to give them just a little bit of everything. Yeah. But uh, it's a little hard sometimes, and it's uh, definitely hard on my back because everything on me weighs 92 pounds. And the backpack's about 50 of that. But again, I'm a sailor. I gotta have a strong back. I can manage it. So, where'd you get like, your uh, fit boy? Uh, that was from uh, the Bethesda online store. It was the uh, Bluetooth version. I know they put out uh, one of the first versions of the game. They packaged it with a just a hollow plastic one that you would slap your phone in with an app. But I thought, yeah, that's that's a little iffy. I'll pull it out for the real thing. And that's pretty much what I got. Although it's half broken now because I sweat so much in this that some of it got in there and shorted it out. So right now it only kind of comes half awake. But uh, it's still better than nothing. And it's cheaper than uh, having to replace one because they're not making any more. But the last time I looked, they're going on eBay for about seven hundred dollars. Wow, uh, that's really cool. So uh, I noticed on your back you have a little radio. Is that where the music is playing from? That's right. I mean, music is a huge part of the uh, Fallout playthrough experience for me. At least. So I've heard. I've got to figure out a way to incorporate uh, incorporate that into the backpack somehow. So I got a, an old Chevy car radio and ripped the guts out of it, put in a uh, Bluetooth speaker, and that's hooked up to the phone in my pocket. That's what's playing all the follow-up music. That's, that is really cool. Um, so what did you use for your... Uh... Oh, I mean, there's a little bit of blue Gatorade in there, but uh, that was made by a friend of mine online. He uh, pitched in with that. I, I wouldn't have been able to figure out how to do it myself, but that was his contribution. And uh, again, everything else sort of came from my store. The, uh, the giant rat skull is actually a reproduction of a capybara skull, which is the largest row, and I figured, yeah, like, I can fill it in for uh, a giant rat. It looks the part. Yeah. Um, so I see you have a bag. Uh, what is it for? Uh, this is just <laughs> for giving out a little party favor. Caps are a huge part of the game, so anytime that we meet somebody exceptional, I give them one of these. That's pretty cool. Did you show the camera? Oh, yeah. That's really dope, man. I mean, I, you know, I've said this already a hundred times, but by far the best costume that I've seen, I've been here for 30 to maybe an hour. And, there's, and this is just Friday night, man. There's yeah. more coming. I know there's so much more coming. Yeah, and I, I love being a part of it. Like, it's, all of this that you see going on, I mean, this, this is fandom incarnate. And I love being a part of it and just contributing just a little bit to the scene. When you add everybody up together, it's just awesome. I, I love to be able to play a small part in that. Um, so, I noticed that you are using like, gloves and stuff that you found. It's a little bit of leather, since uh, this part across my chest is an old lineman's hardest. Uh, one glove is an actual glove, the other glove is a sock. Uh, old pants, old duck boots that uh, really came in handy when I went uh, playing airsoft and part of this outfit, since they're actually waterproof all the way up to uh, about midway up my leg. 
And the coat itself is a uh, really, really wax and oil treated, which is part of the reason it's so hot. Because <laughs> I can't sweat through it. Yeah. But uh, a lot of old tattered fabric and uh, a lot of really rusty wire. When I was in the shipyard in Japan, a lot of the uh, rigging that they put up around the ship to be able to work on the exterior, all the scaffolding used this really tough but really flexible steel wire that rusts at the drop of a hat after I gotta get some of this stuff and there's a little bit of it everywhere like in my staff, uh, a bunch of places in my back bed just as a part of a tie down just because I figured you know who's gonna have a needle and thread or glue in the wasteland. I, I do cheat a little bit in some places but I kind of hide that as best as I can to try to keep things in universe. I noticed on your back, uh, you have a wood crate. What entirely is in the crate? Well, it's just the uh, radio itself. I try not to burn myself any more than what I need to. I mean, a lot of the weight I got back there probably is the weight of the crate itself, just because I thought, well, if you didn't have a backpack and you had to make one, what would you use? I figured, like, I experimented with, like, having a suitcase on my back. That didn't really work. It looked a little odd. oxygen tank on my back. That's another big part of the weight that's back there. This either came out of a B-17 or a B-24 or maybe something else. I mean, it was the same kind of tank that a lot of aircraft used back then. But uh, you see a lot of guys use them as uh, like acetylene or nitrous tanks for cars. But uh, I got mine with this extra gauge on it. Hooked it up to it. So it looks like I'm going around with my own oxygen supply or just a filter when I don't need straight oxygen. There's no graceful way to do this. Your plates. This was um, made by uh, this is made by Death Star of Samovar on Etsy. It makes a lot of shoulder parts in this. So I figured, yeah, I'll, I'll get, get some of that. 